Let's connect N8N to Google Drive because we use Google Drive a lot and the connection, the cre creating that credential is not as straightforward. So let's first look for a Google Drive node and this is our Google Drive. I'll just select anything. It doesn't matter what we're selecting because we want to create this credential. Now, this is one way to create credentials and you click on your credentials. Another way you can create credentials is, uh, let me go out. Uh, I'm not, oh, let's save it in case we need it. Let's go outside. So when we click on overview, uh, as you, if you remember from the first walkthrough, we have workflow, workflows, credentials, and executions. We can actually go into credentials and add our first credential and I can just go Google Drive and select it. Then I'm gonna press continue. And what we need, we need to create an OAuth credential. To do that, we are gonna go to Google Drive platform. So just type Google Cloud platform in your search bar, click on Google Cloud platform and then click on console up here on the right. Uh, it just takes a minute or so to uh, get it all working. Then where it says Google Drive, click on Google Drive. And if you have been setting any APIs here, you'll see a list. And what we need is to create a new project. And we're going to give it a name. I will call it NAA tutorial because I have already created uh, my um, API key uh, for my proper account. Uh, make sure that it's under your organization, your location, and you can just click create. Okay, now you can uh, go back here again and you will find your project where is my project here is my project and make sure that you are in your project now you can either click here on the navigate menu or you can use the tabs here let's go with here we're going to click on apis and services um, then we're going to click on library and we're going to search for Google Drive. Google Drive and Google Drive API. And we're going to select Google Drive API. Then we're going to click Enable. And if it takes a little bit of time, just let it go, let it do its thing. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go to OAuth consent screen. And we're going to create uh, uh, an external app. We're going to give the name for our app, I'll just name it the same as the project tutorial. Uh, the support email, that has to be your proper email. And we're going to scroll down to developer contact information. That would usually be the same email address as uh, the one you put up the top. Mm dot com and then we're going to save and continue we don't need to put anything in the scopes here so we're just going to click on save and continue we don't need to put anything in test users save and continue and we're going to click on back to dashboard then we need to click on publish app and confirm okay now we're gonna go to credentials up on the left hand side 
we're going to click on create credentials up here and we're going to select OAuth client ID. Application type will be web application. Uh, again, you can give it the same name and an eight tutorial, tutorial. And then you will need to add a, a authorized redirect URI. And in here, you go back to N8N and you will copy and paste this OAuth redirect URL that has been given to you by N8N. So we'll just click to copy. We're going to go back here and we're going to paste our URI. And then we're going to click on create. Okay, now, once you create it, make sure that the status is uh, uh, enabled. What do we need here? So we need the client ID, which is right here, client ID, and you can click uh, here and copy it. Add, and then we need the client secret, which is this here, and we're going to copy and paste it. And then we are going to save. Great. Now, if we uh, X out of that, whoops, sorry, what is, oh, we need to sign in with Google, sorry. So now it's going to ask you because we may have more than one account with Google. It will ask you which account you want to use. You're going to give it all the permissions and connection successful and um, this uh, window closes and as you can see our account is connected and that's it this is how we connect our google drive and now we can, we can use it for any workflow